And good evening, everybody. I'm Jeff Michael with Susan Harrisuna here at Fox 11. Here's what you have to think of. Think of the capacity of the Rose Bowl and now multiply it. 400,000 people along Santa Monica Boulevard for a night unlike any other West Hollywood's Halloween Carnival. Kind of is spelled differently, though. It's kind of like spelled Carnival, if you ever look at it. It <laughs> is. Kevin Takumi is up in Sky Fox. Kevin, what's it like from up there? Yeah, Jeff, a mile-long stretch here on Santa Monica Boulevard, all the way from Doheny to La Cienega. Organizers expecting 400,000 people to show up out here tonight. You can see the streets packed wall-to-wall. -wall. Traffic in the area backed up on all the streets around here, all the way from the 101 freeway, uh, La Cienega, coming up from the 10 freeway, Robertson as well. But you can see all the parking structures so far filled in the area, and people are uh, on the streets from the curb line to curb line. Several sound stages out here with performance performances going on all throughout the night. That is the latest overhead. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Kevin, thank you very much, and we will check in with you again. Down on the ground, right in the middle of it all, is our own Phil Schumann. Phil, you don't look like you're dressed. You're hey, dressed how are you? Occasion? We're alive at... Uh... We're live at Santa Monica and Robertson. The streets are shut down. The crowds are definitely here behind me having a good time. And they're still pouring into West Hollywood. What's it like out here? Take a look. Yes, tonight was the night in West Hollywood. Mommy, hi. <laughs> from superheroes to Recycle Man, from Michael Jackson to John and Kate. <laughs> no, I get I get called John all the time. So you look a little bit like him, don't you? It's a no-brainer on this one. Happy Halloween! It's a night where just about anything goes. <laughs> He's been a very bad bunny. Did your mother know you're doing this? No, she does not. Uh, and if she did? Um... She wouldn't be my mother for very long. <laughs> Most unusual, MySpace and Facebook. We started out with Facebook all the time, and then we started going onto MySpace all the time, and then we realized that we started getting covered in twit, like every day, every five minutes, and then I just feel like my Facebook has gone to the birds. The most common balloon boy. Is that the best you can do? You know what they say. I uh, should be in the attic, but uh, I decided to come out and tell the truth. One of the hardest to explain? This. With this. I love it. I love it. I'm, I got your attention, didn't I? One of the most bizarre, this interpretation of the swine flu. A little over the top? Yeah, all right. That's what it's all about. Call it performance art. Call it make-believe. Call it Halloween West Hollywood style. It's wall-to-wall, -wall, but the people are so great, and you can't get a better place anywhere in the world on this night. Back live now, sheriff's deputies tell me that uh, so far so good. No problems with anything tonight. The crowds will be here till the wee hours of the morning. We're going to check back with you at the bottom of the hour. For now, I'm Phil Schumann reporting live in West Hollywood. How you doing? <laughs> All right, thanks, Phil. West Hollywood's Halloween carnival is so big, we sent two reporters to cover it. Trisha Tuxugi is at the other end of Santa Monica Boulevard. And so, Trisha, how does it look from there? The party continues out here at the rest of Santa Monica Boulevard. We're a little bit closer to La Cienega, but it's been peaceful. You don't want to know why? There are plenty of sheriffs, deputies out here. It's been a fun-filled evening. But i got to tell you, the most impressive thing are these really amazing costumes. Halloween, West Hollywood style, like no other place in the world. In my country, there's no culture like this, so it's very unique for, to me. Creative costumes, elaborate makeup, and months of planning. A lot of work with uh, building up the costume and um, really getting all the pieces together and a lot of practice on the stilts, and he does a wonderful job with it, though. It's great. It took me actually about two weeks to build this costume. The hat is made out of a bicycle helmet, pennies, and cardboard. It's Halloween fun without all of the scary, gory stuff. No tricks, just treats, and plenty of fantasy. It's just a wonderful experience to go out and be whoever you want to be. I look forward to it. It's wonderful. I mean, we're in the biggest party of the world right now. 500,000 people. Some dressed up the streets of West Hollywood rather than themselves. Others tapped into current events or movies. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! 
Now, while it seems like it's been one giant parade, they actually had a parade here around 9 o'clock, and they're supposed to pick the best costume. I don't know how they're going to do it, but the grand prize is $500. That's the latest from this end of Santa Monica Boulevard. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio now.